Hello everyone, I am Tullio Lane and in this video I will be doing a review about the ANET A8 DIY 3D printer. I have been working with 3D printers for quite some years now and I have been used to working with uh, more high-end FDM printers but now I've been approached by Gearbest to try out one of their more lower priced printers and I was quite interested to do this because I can imagine the majority of people who start printing they're gonna have lower priced printers like these and these are like 10 times less expensive than the high-end ones and I was quite curious to see if there really is a big difference between them so let's take a look so after assembling it, which was easy to do it provided clear instructions and uh, I read beforehand that it would take about a full day to build but for me it turned out to take just about 4 or 5 hours I uh, finished it in one evening they also included some links to videos with uh, clear step-by-step -step instructions and that provided a good visual help for me I think the assembly is not something you have to worry about if you're considering to buy a printer like this because I think everyone can do this so then I finally turned it on for the first time and I saw the user interface which is uh, very straightforward, very simple, not uh, difficult to use. Also clear instructions were provided. It's maybe not as nice as the designed user interfaces but they do the job nicely. They have the same functions, no cutbacks on anything. I uh, myself really like it actually. So then I wanted to give it a go but before that I needed to level my printing bed which is really easy to do, just adjust the four screws and uh, you are able to buy uh, an update kit and make it an automatic leveling system but I'll do that maybe in the future it's really not necessary now then about the software they recommend you Cura which uh, I really like because that's the software I've been using for years so uh, it's just all really easy to do you, you download your model you slice it in Cura you put it on your SD card and uh, this printer uh, needs micro SD cards which I find a little bit uh, tricky because I tend to lose them quicker than uh, normal SD cards but it's fine and you put it in the printer hit print and it will start printing so one thing I find really cool about this printer is that it is an open source printer it's a clone of the Prusa i3 actually and because of this uh, there's a big community of people who make updates for this who make parts for this printer so you can tune it the way you want so for example, one cool little update I found, which I immediately wanted to do, is to change the position of the Z switch. So you can adjust the maximum height just by adjusting a little screw instead of completely leveling the printing bed all the time. And the second little update I did was one that I see a lot of people do, and that is to change the little blower from the front fan into a, yeah, just a better design, which I can say that works a lot better. And of course the links of these models are all included in the description. I also want to talk about the filament holder that comes with it normally because I think it's pretty bad. It looks just not finished when it's printing it's wobbling all around it doesn't turn really nicely. So what I did was I made a little cylinder with some room for skateboard bearings which fit nicely and uh, as you can see now it turns just fine and it's not wobbling around anymore. If you don't want to do this yourself, no worries, there are a lot of better spool holders already out there. Alright, it's printing time. Let's take a look at this printer in action. I have been printing with this printer for about two weeks now, and I have to say, this really surpassed my expectations. Uh, I did not expect it would perform this well. Uh, I did have a few misprints, it stopped uh, a few times halfway during the printing, a few times it came loose from the printing bed, but this was on my bed due to wrong settings and bad calibration, and I'm 100% sure that when you get used to this printer, when it becomes your own printer, and you know your settings, and you get a good calibration, that the uh, results of this printer are almost indistinguishable from printers 10 times as expensive which I think is really amazing and just goes to show how the technology is evolving and gets uh, accessible for everyone. So if you're thinking about buying a new printer, or maybe buying your first printer, and I would have to give my opinion, I can't see any reason why you would go wrong with this one. It's just uh, a really nice little printer and it just does its job, which I think is really, um, I really appreciate that. It's also just a lot of fun and that's important. 
So I want to thank GearBest for giving me this opportunity to try out the ANET A8 EOI 3D printer. And if you would like to have some more information, please check out the links in the description. And then I would like to thank you for watching. See you next time.